so this is beautiful downtown Barnesville, the historic district. Just a short little street with some cute shops and stuff. It's usually bustling, but uh, since the COVID, let's see, let me see. I thought there was a walking path. But anyway, I'm here today because there's a new restaurant in town called Cubano's. And my favorite restaurant in Thomason told me about it, the Country Cover Deli. They told me that, uh, well, I was asking them what a, a, a quote unquote real Cuban sandwich was supposed to taste like. And they said there was a new Cuban restaurant opening up in Barnesville. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Close on Wednesday, so of course I have to be down here on Thursday. <laughs> Nice mural that they've painted and some kind of thing. Cute little downtown area. So the umbrellas must be where Cubano's is. They told me there was some kind of outdoor seating, but I don't really see. I see one table. Here we go, Cubano. Yay! Kind of different for Georgia and uh, in the South, but we'll see. We'll see. We're going in. We're gonna see what's happening right now. So I couldn't make up my mind which uh, which kind of drink I wanted, and they were both recommended, so I got them both. It looks good, huh? All right, so let's do a taste test. Here goes the Iron Man. What do I call Iron Man? Let's see. Mmm, mmm. Tastes like candy, and then the peanut, two peanut. Pineapple. Mmm. Yep, yeah, tastes just like the pineapple sodas I had when I was a kid. This is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We're gonna have some more of that. And here's my sandwich. Ooh, two kinds of pork. Oh, yeah. I just finished my awesome Cuban sandwich at the uh, Cubano's restaurant. Oh my gosh. 10 thumbs up, kids. 10 thumbs up. Oh yeah. Toki, not too bad. Not too bad. Smoking, if you need it. Uh, dry cleaning, if you need it. This buffet, I don't do buffet, okay? It's probably fine. I don't do buffets. You looking for a place to uh, set up shop? A nice little boutique store? This is your place, Barnesville. Obligatory church on every corner. Englishes, I think there's an Englishes in every town. I think there was some kind of like <coughs> 
mercantile type place or something. I think it's a thrift store now. Something like that. Fun stuff. Oh, that's bad. That's stuff if you need it. Yeah, the South is a good place if you want to, uh, if you like thrift stores and antiquing and all kind of stuff like that. And this place, Del Rainey's, this is a local staple, been here forever. Something like that. This place is new, some kind of antiques. Seen a lot of patriotic stuff. My people PSP. Pastime Grill. This is another local favorite. The place is filled with uh, pig memorabilia. All over the place, like every kind of pig you could imagine. CPA, in case you need one. Now that's a historical place. I can hear the church, but I can't see it. Some kind of a mobile phone place. Divine Faith Ministries. You know you gotta have one of those. Oh, I don't see a sign. Okay, well anyway. Rolling tie. They're still doing curbside. Seems like all the Asian places are doing curbside. Not sure what that's all about. Clothing ladies. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Good. And I love this. It's just a tire store, but look, it's got like a little Art Deco vibe, flair to it. And I love this mural. Let me see if I can get a good shot of the mural. Proverbs 3.9. Well, I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah. Huh. It's Henry. Yeah, I got him. I got a painting by him. He's a local mural artist. Very good, huh? He's amazing.